Finally, guys, some of the details. Let's get some analysis. Our Bloomberg government team is digging into those tax returns, trying to find some of the more interesting nuggets, things we need to know. And Joanne Weiner joins us from our Washington bureau. Joanne, Peter just ran us through some of the details. Uh, what are some of the things beyond the headlines that stood out to you? Well, the stuff that stood out was one, one figure, which is not in the headlines, is that he actually has nothing reported for his uh, salary. He has a big blank line there. That may not be surprising, but he has no earned income last year. And it's interesting to see that he not only paid, um, obviously, taxes on capital gains, but there was still a tax on carried interest. So he still does have real exposure to private equity. Oh, he certainly does. And in fact, there's a lot of talk about his effective tax rate being below 15 percent. But when the vast majority of his income is taxed at only 15 percent, it's pretty high. It's pretty hard to pay anything above that. Like I said, that line that has nothing in it is what would be taxed at 35 percent. He just doesn't have anything there. So what is this interesting one dollar item in here? What is that? Well, you may have heard that last night in the debate, he said that he pays what he owes in taxes, but not a dollar more. Well, in fact, if you go through his 200-some page return, I was flipping through it this morning and I saw that he claims a $1 credit for the work opportunity tax credit. Now, that's a very valuable credit to employers, but he did get his last dollar. A $1 credit? That's interesting. Uh, yes. I wonder how many people, <laughs> people put that on their tax return. Um, he does have items overseas. He has those investments in the Cayman Islands. Also, a fund in Ireland called Barracuda. What is that? Well, when you invest abroad, I mean, there's, first of all, there's nothing wrong with investing abroad. There's a lot of good opportunities abroad. Um, but U.S. tax law requires that uh, when you're an individ individual, you have to report these earnings. They don't allow you to have a foreign pocketbook. And Romney has done that. It's just that in typical Wall Street fashion, some of these funds have very clever names, like Barracuda, based in Ireland.